Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I do unboxings, mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, but also stationery, books, beauty, jewelry, travel, home decor, and the very occasional dash of Disney. So if you enjoy unboxings, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell. And that way you'll find out whenever I post new videos, announce giveaways, or go live. As always, if you are already subscribed, thank you so much for being here and spending part of your day with me. I've been doing this for two and a half years now, and I have to say it has been such a fun ride. I love interacting with all of you in the comments and over on Instagram and in the live streams. It's always like a favorite part of my day. So even now when I'm looking at other job opportunities, I'm trying to make sure that I have enough time for my YouTube channel and my product photography. So it's a fantastic problem to have and I thank you all so much for your support and making that possible. Today, speaking of work, I have a great box that would be a good gift for a work colleague or just to make your own life at work a little bit more enjoyable whether you work from home or in an office and that is the amazing desk stash this is a quarterly uh, desk accessory and office subscription and it is so much fun because it's a little bit whimsical it makes office supplies kind of cool so it's $45 per quarter plus shipping I believe the shipping is about $10.50 at least that's how much it is to me here in California but I do have a discount code and link for you it's just Noel 15 that'll save you 15% they always have a great value and just really really fun products so this has been sent to me for a review by the awesome Dan and I'm always so excited when he reaches out so let's go ahead and dive into it so it, along the side it's got this like vintage typewriter sticker and it says contents colorful cool very very useful workspace happiness so that sounds like the perfect box for me and you guys know I love like stationary things and I also just kind of like gadgets too so this is like the perfect blend of that so inside, this is what it looks like. There is their little product card, which also usually has a little bit of wit, usually makes me uh, smile, giggle even. So we have a little information about the quarterly subscription, of course. You can do an annual subscription for $170, so you save even more. There's usually five to seven products in here. Um, and then let me just go ahead and look at how many we have this time. This is the Express Yourself Edition. It has seven products and the retail value on it is $80. So I like that they're really honest with us in terms of the total retail value you're still definitely getting a deal um, for sure on a $45 box but again there's are great things that you could re-gift to a colleague if for some reason you don't need it but usually the items are just so freaking cool that I want to hold on to them for myself so I'm gonna prop this up in front of me so that I can tell you all about it sometimes there's just a kind of like a vintage vibe to some of the things so I think it's something that people of a certain age like myself can also appreciate I don't know what this is they also have like the coolest fat shred I love this stuff so we have got what is this at first I thought it was a doorknob and then I realized it was like a record player you guys but at first I thought it was a doorknob and then I realized it was a record player. It took me it took me a second to be to be fair. So this is a Woody wooden postcard. So Woody is spelled W O O D H I. It says this fancy wooden postcard comes all the way from France. It's made of wood, maple to be exact. The front side image is of a way cool 1970s rim drive record player. Each one is unique just like you. You can lick a stamp and mail it just like a common working class postcard. I would be afraid of that because I feel like it would crack, but now that I've taken it out of the plastic you guys can kind of see that sheen of the wood that is so cool let me stop holding it up like a like a doorknob for you here it is more like a record player I remember record players let me know in the comments below if you uh remember record players or if you're just like a hipster now and have one so that you can play your vintage vinyls because I know now that we're making vinyls again which I think is cool I mean I used to kind of hate having to like skip songs or like when things would get scratched I mean we had that problem with CDs too but um there is something kind of cool about the sound of it especially like the blank spaces so I think this is beautiful but I totally don't want to actually use it as postcards so I'm gonna hold on to that um, that's a cool item though what is this it says DQ um, or DC Yule I don't know I'm gonna have to figure out what this is so let me know if you have a guess already oh oh what is this it's got like a light bulb shape to it hmm says this is a credit card sized light source which could live in your wallet wait is that what this is i have no idea how this works so it does have like a slide thing to it but i don't know how to make that work uh oh i'm gonna have to figure this out you guys i'm not smart when it comes to stuff like this 
Okay, so it says credit card says light source which could live in your wallet want to silently applaud the brilliance of a team member during a serious meeting place it on the conference table lift the flat bulb. Oh my gosh, you guys that's so freaking cool to send a silent compliment instead of holding like your lighter or your phone up. Um, it says or use it as a subtle do not disturb signal outside your office good for reading menus in dark Italian restaurants too. ciao or at the blue bayou at Disneyland. So that is so cool you guys look at it you can see the little light. So I think that would be awesome. So I was trying to like slide the black piece up and then I didn't realize that this just pops up. So I think that's actually really awesome to keep in your wallet uh, or your purse. That's such a neat item. That's so true. Sometimes it is really dark and people do have like, I've definitely seen people like pull out a little pen flashlight, but that's way cooler. All right, I don't have any like board meetings where I have to give somebody a silent applause, but um, I do think that would be really funny. Um, this is awesome. So um, this is a ceramic safety blade. So you guys know I open a lot of boxes and sometimes you've seen me do it with uh, just an open pair of scissors. These are so much better. I actually have one of these already, but it's like a smaller version. It's almost like a pocket version, but this is the ceramic blades are so cool, you guys. So it says our founder is really clumsy. <laughs> Seriously. Are you like writing this about yourself, Dan? It says he's covered with cuts peppered with punctures. So when he needs to open master cartons, there will be no more scissors for him. <laughs> That's in italics. Like there must have been an accident or two. This safety green box cutter has a retractable ceramic blade. It cannot slice human skin nor poke out an eye. Not to be used for surgery. Don't worry, I will not be doing that. I'm so excited because after a while you do have to replace these. Um, but yes, that's so cool. I have not tested the won't pierce human skin thing with my other ceramic blade. Probably not the best idea because I will find a way to hurt myself with it. But um, I'm this is such a useful item. So, so far, like cool retro item, right? Like kind of awesome to get that wooden postcard. Something I've never seen before, but also very useful. And then just like a great utility thing to have around the house, especially if you open a lot of boxes, which I know a lot of you do. Uh, ooh, sticky notes. <laughs> I love sticky notes. I feel like I have so many and I get so many in boxes and then I'm constantly looking for more. Um, and this one came in the coolest like tin. This is so cool, you guys. All right, so this is Cavallini sticky notes. This is actually the first item we chose for desk stash, but somehow we never included them. Wait, what? Um, well, now it's yours. The sleek aluminum tin contains a total of 300 individual sticky notes, each emblazoned with a timeless design, reminiscent of the Mad Men era, suitable for reminders, page markers, and cryptic ransom notes. So it is, they're all wrapped up in plastic, but hopefully you guys can see them without too much glare. I do kind of like the uh, retro, like airmail look to them with those like kind of, you know, diagonal lines so just nice and simple nothing like too crazy where like you could actually write something on something uh <laughs> write something on something you could write something on one of these notes and put it on a document within the office and it's not like so whimsical or sassy that you it's like inappropriate right it doesn't have like a cartoon bunny which i like those too but fyi appointments remember a to-do list and then this one just has like the days of the week going down here that's actually like great because you know, you shouldn't, you should not be ashamed of your sticky notes. You should be proud of your sticky notes. And I will be proud of my sticky notes in this tin. So I, except now I like love how they all fit into the tin. So I like want the tin out and then I won't want to use the sticky notes. It's, it's a, you know, catch 22. All right. What else do we have? I don't know. These are like giant paper clips, you guys. I think that's what they actually are. So let me see what these are. Um, it says, I'm always trying to figure out like what it is. Huh. I don't know. It says design ideas clip note. I'm guessing that's what it is. It says the face of this miniature piece of Metro sculpture borrows heavily from the quaint paper clip, but this item has much more utility. So yes, I guessed right on that. It will sit on your desk and spark an intellectual debate among your co-workers. Is it just a card organizer or is it a giant paper clip? It's both, wrapped in a piece of minimalist art. All right, minimalist art, you don't wanna come out of the package, all right. So, it's kind of like a slinky, you guys. So, it's, it looks like a radiator, right? So, it's kind of a slinky, so here it is this way, and here it is this way, and then you can put it probably sideways like this, and put your cards in it. So, <laughs> let's get like real retro. You could use it to hold your like recipe cards, that's real retro. You can use it to uh, put some like non-sticky notes. Like I have so many pieces of loose paper. 
business cards, people you're supposed to call back. Um, I could probably use it to uh, use the note cards that I have for my little notes here. Um, I actually think that's great. It would look really cute for like those desk calendars that you get as well. Instead of putting like a clip in it, you could even use it as a picture holder. I mean, then you can't use like all of the many slots that there are there. Um, it's also just like a stress fun thing because it even makes a fun sound and I'm having a lot of fun doing this. So I like this. It's very like cool, like like they said, office sculpture. Look how cool it is, you guys. Yes, that's awesome. I love it. Very modern, very office-y. I don't have an office that I go to. Once upon a time, we used to go in like once a week and uh, it just doesn't happen anymore. And I'm totally fine with that. But it's really funny in my Zoom meetings, you guys, I don't like turn on any like lights or put on any makeup. So it's like, I look like I've never done a Zoom meeting before. And I think that's kind of good because then they like lowers their expectations if I'm like poorly lit and like don't have my hair done. Um, what is this? Book pocket. Keep your reader's stylus and writing instruments handy with this bookmark. This is like a very hefty bookmark. I feel like this is like a fanny pack bookmark. Let me open it though, we'll find out. So it says, book pocket. There's so much utility here. This zippered pouch with its adjustable elastic strap will hold your glasses, highlighters, and lunch money secure and away from that pesky guy who never brings his own pen to the meeting. Oh, sometimes that's me. Um, <laughs> so it says, use this book pocket to keep your key cards and secret corporate notes close, but away from prying eyes. So it's almost like a money belt, but you can put it onto your notepad. So here, Here's the example, of course, here's the spiral. And then instead of like the uh, the elastic strap that's like on a moleskine or whatever, or like on a lot of notebooks these days, if, look, it's adjustable. You can like cinch it to fit whatever size notebook or day planner, this would just be great on your spiral day planner. Um, and then you can, I can't imagine that you could fit that much in there, but let me open up the zipper. So it is open pretty wide. It does look like you could probably fit like a business card in there. Um, definitely some pens would fit in there. I happen to have one like right next to me. This is the kind of pen I, I often been saying like, I don't really like this kind of pen. This is the kind of pen that I like you guys. And it will totally fit in there. So you will have pens in there. What else could you put in there? Like they suggested your key cards. Oh, I guess your key card would fit in there. That's kind of cool. You probably wouldn't even need to open it. Like if it's one of those key cards um, where it's just like, you don't have to swipe it. Awesome. And I love that it's in navy and it doesn't have like weird sayings or designs on it. It's just like nice and simple. So it's still going to like look pretty sleek. This is such a great like unisex box too. I really appreciate that because it is sometimes hard to find a desk accessory um, slash stationary box that's not like very feminine. Um, I don't mind a little bit of that because you guys know I have a soft spot for kind of like kawaii things. But I also really love stuff that feels like it's from a design shop or like a museum. So what do we have here? one of those kinds of notebooks. All right. <laughs> All right. We got a planner. So hopefully at this point now I like dated planners, but since we are already towards the end of January, I'm hoping that it is not necessarily a dated planner, but it is gorgeous. Okay. Let me go ahead and open it up. So it was like the exact size of the foot of the box. So that's why it took me a second to, uh, to get into it. It says the perpetually late show undated standard planner. Want to know when it's grab someone's nuts day? Well, I, I don't know what that is. Turn to August 3rd. Oh, good to know. It's very close to my birthday or the date on which Tom Cruise jumped on Oprah's couch. Oh, See May 23rd. We all know that day. Um, filled with useless trivia you never knew you needed, this undated planner is so cheeky, so clever, and so handy that it's perfect for desk dash subscribers. Read this and win some contests. Oh, it says undated. Well, more like unyeared. It's kind of the best of both worlds. You can start using this planner anytime you want, but it's still filled to the brim with everything you could possibly need. The dates are all here, all 366, you know, because sometimes there's a leap year. It says just right in the year and the day of the week and you're good to go. Bonus, it's packed with full of random holidays, trivia, and humor. You should really just open it and look for yourself. Just flip to today's date and get started once you reach the end of the year. So Simply start back at January 1st and finish out the book. Unlike life, no day goes to waste. Okay, while we're flattered that you're still reading this, just look inside already. You'll like it, we promise. Uh, I already like just the wit of it. So it does say the perpetually late show and it is undated, but I do like that idea almost like you, you figure out what your fiscal year is so you can 
can start whenever you want and you just have to uh, put the day of the week on there. So there's like lots of calendars that are like that where one is always the first box but like visually that's really hard for me but I feel like in a planner like this it might work okay. All right we've got some some New York pride in here. There's definitely a map of Queens on the inside so this press must be from there. So it says, this planner is dedicated to all of the other things that we probably could have accomplished in the time that we spent on it. We'll learn how to play that saxophone someday. Very cute, guys. Ooh, I love the look of this. This is very cool. So here's like, welcome to June, right? So again, you could start this whenever you want. It says, no other month in the year begins on the same day of the week as June interesting and then this is kind of how it looks you guys so it tells you there's like you've made it to june here's all the things that you've uh, accomplished dates to know like uh d-day for example things to accomplish so kind of an overview things that are never going to happen it's kind of fun to have just like a little space to put all that then we have june at a glance so here is an example you guys so that's what i'm talking about where they have one right there in that first box. So that could be like a Tuesday for all we know. Let's see, June 1st is a Wednesday this year. So that I probably wouldn't use because it just confuses the heck out of me. Then the next page you have uh, list notes and memoirs. We have some sections that are in graph paper, which I just love because I like to make charts. Um, and sometimes it's nice to have little mini calendars for just like a week at a glance. And then we have like a ton of space. It's very like, it looks, I don't know, it looks very scientific almost in the way that it's laid out. So we got like a half page for each day. Um, it does tell you at the top, you have like a week at a glance so you know what day is on Monday because it's listed as Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So then you can put the date there so visually it fixes it for you. I like that. Um, for example, on June 1st, it's National Olive Day and in this day in 1974, the Heimlich Maneuver was first published. Good to know. I like that they have a lot of um, food related days for sure so let's see <laughs> list notes and memoirs there's a section here for smells that I can't stand or a grocery list or something <laughs> this is very funny um, I'm gonna have to turn to let's see what day is today that I'm filming this on I don't even know what day today is you guys let's look at I think this is going to post on January 30th so let's turn to that page it says it's yodel for your neighbor's day. All right, are we all ready to go yodel for our neighbor's day? <laughs> On this day in 1973, Kiss played their first show in Queens, New York. All right, that's pretty cool. Um, also, Phil Collins was born in 1951, which you guys, I totally didn't know that Lily Collins was Phil Collins' daughter until like very recently. Anyway, oh, Christian Bale was also born in 1974. I'm sure everybody loves having everyone know exactly how old you are. I would not, I would not mind being a celebrity. I'm not like afraid of fame, but I would not like everyone knowing exactly how old I am all the time. All right, you guys, this was such a fun box. I feel like I could spend hours just going through that planner. I might never actually want to use it just because it's like a good reference book. So we got our Woody Wooden postcard, which is very cute, which is portraying a retro um, record player or doorknob, an LED pocket light, very, very cool design. Our design ideas clip note, this might be one of my favorite things in here because it's so useful. Very cool sticky notes in a tin. Our book pocket, our book fanny pack, our ceramic blade cutter, that's like the most functional and will probably get like honestly the most use because so many of these things I won't want to use because they're so nice. And then the perpetually late show undated standard planner, which will provide millions of hours of fun. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Definitely check out Desk Stash if you haven't already. It's one of my favorites in all honesty. And I will see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing.